All right. Uh, what we got here is uh, uh, probably the baddest bird average 29 I've ever built. I wouldn't say it's the strongest peak power, but for average, you know, which was the goal here is uh, uh, probably the best we've ever produced. Uh, but I figured we'd do a video. Better put a blower on that thing. I'll probably do something quieting it down just a little bit. But anyway, uh, just got a voltage reference. Uh, it's 14.77 uh, volts. Uh, I got it hooked to a straight to a hot trace, ground trace inside the radio itself. But uh, anyway, that's what, we, what we're working with right there. Key up here. And then we're keying a little, bit, le little less than a quarter of a watt there. Uh, checking on RMS scale. Uh, I showed that in some of the videos, so I figure I'll show it in this one. See, it's uh, burying that to the corner. Let's we'll check our bird average. I wonder if I can do bird average and the voltmeter at the same time. 25 watt slugs for reading the top scale. Looks like a good solid uh, 20 watts average with what, 14.6 uh, volts? Uh, Darren, grab me a 100 watt slug. I got a 1000 watt slug right there from my peak. I need a 100 watt. I might have one up here too. Let's see what I got. Yeah, I got a 100 watt here. Thank you. All right, it is. I don't know what it's gonna do. It might. Uh, it's probably at 80 watts or something. I haven't even checked it. But uh, 100 watt slug there. Yeah, uh, about 78 watts. And then we'll go back 14.7. I'll try to pull them both to the one deal here. Uh, right there. Yeah, about 20 watts average. And then we'll show spectral purity right here if I can get my lamp out of the way. Makes a little line or whatever. You see it's uh, nice and clean on the spectrum analyzer. Anyway, that's a uh, slap getting with it for Cobra 29. 20 watts average at 14.6 volts just shows you I'm not doing no voltage tricks. I've heard people say all kinds of stuff. Doublers and extra transformers and all kind of crazy stuff. They don't know why I'm getting the number, why I'm able to get the numbers I'm getting. Uh, 20 watts average on a 25 watt slug. Just for traps and giggles, I could put a different slug. Darren, give me a 50 watt if we got one of it. Pretty sure we do. I could take a, try a 50 watt here just for traps and giggles. I would plug another bird meter in line, but all right, center scale, 50 watt slug here. And that one's gonna show 24. Uh, and usually that's the way it works. The bigger the slug you get, the more inaccurate it gets. You wanna stay close to what you're running at. Let's put 100 watts, see if it gets more than 24 watts with 100 watt. Like I said, you just wanna stay close to what you got. All right, so 100 watt slug. Uh, that's about 24, 23. Uh, same as a 50 watt. Uh, I don't have a second 25 watt slug, but same one I do in all my videos uh, with the rest of the radio. So you gotta kind of get a reference from that. But uh, I show the 25 watt slug again there, and there you go, 20 average. And then they don't have no peak kit on or nothing like that. Uh, let's see what else we want to show. I can show spectral purity again, I guess. Uh, staying nice and clean. Anyway, it's just a Frankenstein 29. Got a blower on the back of the thing. I'm not gonna try to zoom in on every mod there, but sorry for the messy bench because I know it's a wreck. But I wanted to show too. It's a it's a single final. There is not uh, multiple transistors, you know. So there you go. Anyway, y'all take care. It's a bad 29.